Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try the Tennessee Waltz. G chord to a G7 to a C chord. And then G to a D7. G chord for two and then G7 to a C chord. G to D7 back to G. Next section G to a B7 to a C chord and then a G chord. G for two to a D7. G to G7 to a C chord and then G to D7 to a G. Okay? That's a nice real simple way of playing it. Uh, great song. It's been in so many. It's been covered by so many people, and um, I think it was uh, Red Stewart and Pee Wee King that wrote it. And um, it's just uh, one of my favorite country songs. Uh, all right, we need a G chord. You can use any G chord you want. Today I'm going to do the sixth string third fret, fifth string second fret. I'm just going to do the first string third fret. You can do that other G chord with the two fingers if you want. Here's your G chord. I'm going to change it to a G7 by flipping it around 6th string 3rd uh, fret with my 3rd finger, 5th string 2nd fret again, so those two stay the same except I'm going to use different fingers because I need to reach back 1st string, 1st fret is the G7. And that pulls you to a C chord. 2nd string, 1st fret, 4th string, 2nd fret, and then 5th string, 3rd fret. There's my C chord. Only two chords left. All right, uh, D7, second string, first fret, third string, second fret, and first string, second fret. That's my D7. And then you need a B7 chord. Uh, fifth string, second fret, fourth string, first fret, third string, second fret, first string, second fret. I'm going to definitely mute the sixth string on that one because it's not part of the chord and it won't sound good. All right, there will be a link to this so you can look at it. Um, I, I realize it's probably going to be hard to uh, remember all the chords in one order and stuff like that. It's, there's not a, there is a pattern to it, but it's, it's harder to see or harder to figure out. All right, so let's, let's run through it one more time. Um, I was dancing with my baby at the Tennessee Waltz, right? Or to the Tennessee Waltz. So you got a G. G7 to a C chord. G. An old friend of hers, D7. G. G7, C chord. G, D7, back to G. G, to B7, to a C, to a G chord. G, D7. So the, um, the last line, the last line is G to D7 to G. So let's, uh, let's do some stuff with that. So you could, in the, you know, whenever you have a D7 going back to G, you could do this. So you got a G to D7. You could do that. So what I'm doing is on the D7, I, I did two downs like... And then on the 6th string I went open, 2nd fret, right back to the G. And what I did was I hit the 6th string, 3rd fret, boom. So the G was boom, down, down, up, down. So G, D7. Now we can add another thing. Let's add like uh, the A, I call it the Amen ending there. Uh, watch this, you get G, D7. That was a C chord. So I did the G, uh, the boom, down, and then a C, and then the G. So the whole thing sounded like a G, D7, all So you can end it like that if you like. Uh, 
just in case, I can't remember if I gave you the strum pattern for the whole song. I probably did, but let's do it again. So uh, it's three, four time. It's a waltz, Tennessee waltz. So you got, uh, I'm most of the time I'm just going down, 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 up on each pattern. So that's a measure, right? So it's two of them for G, G7 for one, to C for one. for one, D7 for one, and then G for two. G for one, B7, C to a G. G for two now, to D7 for two. G for two, G7 for one, and then a C. G, D7, That's a Tennessee Waltz. Great country tune. Always loved it. And uh, thanks for watching. Play more guitar and uh, please subscribe, will you?